Chris, did you get your homework done? Yep. Chris, I know when you're lying to me. Just like Santa Claus knows when you're sleeping. <gasps> what was that? Hey, what the hell? Uh, hey. Get out of here! Okay, okay. Hey, Lois, I got your pregnancy test. What the hell you need this for? I need it because I think I might be pregnant. What? My God, are you sure it's yours? But that's what they said about Lee Harvey Oswald. Hey, Mr. President! Mr. President, up here! I voted for you! Wait a minute. That guy on the grassy knoll's got a gun! He's gonna shoot the president! Holy smokes, I've gotta do something! All right, Lee. Time to become an American hero. Oh, God, I hope you're not pregnant. We can't afford another kid. We already got Chris, Stewie, Richie, Joni, Greg, Marsha, Bobby, Jan, Mike Seaver, Carol Seaver, Boner, Urkel, Mr. Furley. Peter, those aren't your kids. That's the Nick at Night lineup. Oh, I need a spanking. I'm a bad, bad girl. I'm a paladin with 18 charisma and 97 hit points. I can use my Helm of Disintegration and do 1d4 damage as my half-elf mage wields his plus-5 holy of Avenger. Paladins can't use the Helm of Disintegration. Oh. Okay, then I'm a black guy. Peter, we can't risk these things anymore. You're absolutely right. Lois, you're getting your tubes tied. Why should I get my tubes tied? You should get a vasectomy. First of all, I don't know what that is, and second of all, no freaking way. Peter, it's the male equivalent of a woman getting her tubes tied, except it's actually a lot quicker and safer. Let these guys explain. A vasectomy's a medical procedure. Well, essentially, that is the plan. That is the plan. Well, I'm starting to get the picture, but how's it done? You make a small incision in the scrotal skin. Isolate the vas and you'll never have to wear a condom. When you do it with your wife or anyone else you do it with, we promise not to tell, like that new hot chick at work. You know the one who always has high beams under a ribbed white cotton t-shirt. You know you shouldn't think that way because of the sexual harassment meeting you all had to go to. Seriously? How lame was that? And you couldn't help but notice that the female lawyer running the seminar had a huge rack. Goodbye. Say goodbye to manhood. Goodbye. Say goodbye to babies. Goodbye. Say goodbye to kids like me. Thank you, Mount Your Sack. Hi there, Peter Griffin. I've uh, got an appointment to uh, banish a white Russian from my Kremlin. Well, we don't have empty rooms right now, but if you'll have a seat... Yeah, uh, I kind of uh, warmed myself up in the car if you catch my drift. I could put you in the storage freezer. That'll work. Nurse, I've got a splinter! <laughs> oh, God, I... I think I feel them moving. Hi, my partner and I want to have a baby. We'd like a vial of sperm and an applicator that looks like Jodie Foster's knuckles. Certainly. Let me just go to the freezer. Everything in there is exactly the way it was when I went in. There was absolutely zero chance that I spilled all the jars and had to refill them with my own sperm. Zero chance. <laughs> it's a boy. Victory shall be mine! Hey, Brian, you want to play tag? No. Freeze tag? No. TV tag? No. If I can get some guys, you want to play Red Rover? No. Maybe. You get the guys first. We'll talk about it. No! Jungle Jim mine! Hey, where'd you get the Pete Rose haircut? <laughs> Anyone else want to feel my wee bock in their grapes? <laughs> yes, that's right. Cry. Cry like Sauron when he lost his contact lens. Nobody move. Nobody move. Just, th does anybody see it? It might be stuck to a tree or a rock. Anyone? Oh, I am so grounded. Lois, I know how to settle a vasectomy dispute. A no-rules funny car race from here to Boston. Last one to Fenway gets snipped. Peter, what the hell? Where did these things come from? They were Loretta's. Please take them. They are no longer funny to me. Go! <laughs> Almost there! Eat my dust, Lois! Hehehehe! <laughs>
<laughs> well, it looks like I'm a man with no sperm. But I'll always be a man with no sperm who once had a wonderful day. Well, guys, my vasectomy is tomorrow. You poor bastard. After all, sex is pointless without potency. It's not that big a deal. A bunch of the guys on the force have had vasectomies, and their lives haven't changed at all. Would you ever have one? Never! Well, yeah, but what if me and Lois do end up wanting another baby? It'll be too late. You could freeze some of your sperm at the sperm bank just in case. No! <laughs> no! Bad squirrel! Those are my nuts! My nuts! Uh, you're just a hungry little fella, aren't you? But those are my nuts! Ah! No! Oh, God, no! My nuts! My nuts! You! Go get me an ice cream! You! Clear the slide! I'm going down in five minutes! You! You get me my cheese whiz, boy? You're my boyfriend. Yes, dear, of course I am. Now, where's Lloyd with our fun dip? Good God, running an empire is harder than finding diversity in the Abercrombie and Fitch catalogue. Ooh, ooh, there he is! There he is, ah, right there! I found him! Oh, that was a tricky one! What the hell is so bloody fascinating? <gasps> you! Well, well, well! If it isn't my half-brother, Stewie! Bertram! I haven't seen you since our microscopic encounter! How the deuce did you get out of Peter's testicles? He donated sperm! Gross! Well, I don't mean to be a discourteous host, but this is my playground! I rule this territory! I'll do to you what BC does to comedy on a daily basis! Hey! Why is Juan so happy? I think he finally figured himself out. Huh. I guess it takes Juan to know Juan. <laughs> we now return to Tony Danza and Sylvester Stallone in... What? Hey. 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 What? Honey, it was just a simple operation. It's no reason to give up on your sex life. I don't know, Lois. I'm just not feeling it anymore. Besides, it gives me time to try new things. Like that time I tried wearing adult diapers. Hey, Lois. Hey, kids. Oh, boy, that smells delicious. You know, I'd love to stay and eat with you, but uh, I gotta go meet Cleveland Joe and Quagmire down at the bar. So, uh, just put my dinner in the fridge, and uh, I'll heat it up later. Love ya! Hey, boys, you having a midnight snack? Mm hmm? Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna grab something, too, and go back to bed. Alone. Again. Night! You know, Lois has gotten kind of fat since you guys stopped having sex. She's got elbow cleavage. Y you know that, that little wrinkle that fat people get on their elbows that looks like a schwa? I mean, you wouldn't have sex with her, would you? Oh, yeah, I would. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I would do everything to her. I don't care what she looks like. I would wreck that chick. Well, you are a trooper. Attention all hands! We're going to launch a massive airstrike against Bertram and his army. Behold the Armada! Now battle stations, everyone! What took you so long? What took you so ugly? Now what? Wanna play 20 questions? Sure. Uh, is it a man? Yes. Is he famous? Yes. Is he under 40? No. Over 40? Yes. On television? Yes. On television now? No. In the past 20 years? Yes. Is it Richard Mulligan? Yes! All right, bring her through. Peter, stop it. For God's sakes, you're embarrassing me. Not as embarrassed as I was when I got that job entertaining prison inmates. Do it again, Griffin. Oh, come on. I just did it like five times. Do it! My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. Boom, you wake up and you're on the practice with 16 rings in your ear. Oh, you're one to talk. Look how fat you are. Lois, men aren't fat. Only fat women are fat. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go warn the chef that you've arrived. <sighs> he wants fat. I'll show him fat. <clears throat> Do you think I'm fat? Only if you think I'm a serial killer. What? Nothing. Up until now, we've been fighting Bertram on his terms. 
Well, easy, easy, girl, easy, easy, easy. But I propose an invasion. We've got to fight him over there by the swing set so we don't have to fight him here at the sandbox. Stewie! What's this? A letter of surrender! We did it! Oh, thank you, darling. I... What is this? <gasps> Chicken pox! Stewie, there you are. Oh, my God, your face. Oh, sweetie, you got the chicken pox. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. No, no, damn you, I've got to finish what I started. No, my God, you've put on weight. You're like one of those memory foam mattresses. Look, there's my face. This Friday on TNT, the world premiere of Morgan Freeman in The Narrator. Ever since I was a little boy, people have enjoyed the sound of my voice. And I figured you either get busy talking or you get busy dying. The work is really quite easy. Why, even right now, I'm just sitting in a chair, sipping some tea and reading from a script. Oh, hey, Hogzilla. You happen to see my hot wife, Lois, around? No, I haven't. Maybe she's out looking for a man who can satisfy her. Hey, 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 do me a favor. When you go to sleep, aim your butt the other way. Last night, for God's sake, you fought it. I felt like somebody was sticking me with a cigarette lighter from the car. You're fat. Shut up and go to sleep. Ow! 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 Oh! Peter, are we having sex? Uh, let's check. Uh, just lift up that fold right there. Uh, yep. Here you go, sweetie. A couple more oatmeal baths and you'll be all better. Well, no need to clean up when I'm done. You'll probably just slice a couple of bananas in here and chow down, huh, Porky? Like that baseball team that Peter coached. Well, kids, just when I thought we'd never find an assistant coach, I ran into this drifter hanging out near the elementary school playground. He's got a clown costume in his trunk, so we know he's good with kids, and pictures of boys in their underwear, so uh, he's probably had some medical training. Well, I'm going to take off while he fits you for cups in that windowless supply shed. See ya. With Stuart out of the picture, this whole playground is under my control. I sense something. A presence I've not felt since. Ha! Stewie, you're alive! Yes, Bertram, I'm alive. And I think you'll find all your guards quite incapacitated. If you'll turn to page 34 of your blue books, you'll see our projections for next quarter. Okay, which I okay, can tell yeah. Under... Oh. All right, okay, uh, you know what? I'm in a meeting. I'll call you back. Well, 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 look who decided to show up. So, what are we talking about here? Well, before you... Ugh, I'm sorry. F, what's up? No, no, I can talk. Lois, last night was amazing. It was, wasn't it? Fat sex is the hottest sex we've ever had. There were so many boobs, I didn't know whose boobs I was grabbing. Your boobs or my boobs? Oh, that is so interesting, Danny Aiello. You've got the best Spike Lee stories. What's that? You want to meet my wife? Peter, stop it. Lois, just say hello. You're embarrassing me in front of Danny Aiello. My fat concubine. Hey, I'm not even hungry. I want you bigger. I want you fatter. It will please me. Oh, Peter, I love you so much. Oh, Lois, I have no idea if we're doing it or if that's just the back of your knee, but either way, it feels so good. Ow, Peter, <laughs> you're on my arm. It hurts. Uh, oh. My chest hurts, too. Uh, hey, I'm really having a heart attack. Um, oh, my God, you serious? Oh, we should get you to the hospital. I, all right, hold, hold on a sec. All right, I'm almost done. Almost done. Almost Peter! Done. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Okay, let's go. Last words? You wouldn't kill me, would you? All right, go ahead and drop it in. Oh, boy, that's going to be beautiful when it reaches adulthood. Yeah, I love plants. So what happened with that kid you were telling me about? Oh, he admitted defeat and ran off. What a mook. Well, it was a tough job removing all that fat to get to your heart, Mrs. Griffin, but you came through it beautifully. Honey, I'm sorry I tried to make you into something you're not. I love you no matter what size you are. 
Although I gotta admit, I'm gonna miss eating cereal out of the dimples on your ass. You hear that, Mac? For your information, Mom, I don't eat to solve my problems. I cut myself. Is that better? Chris, we all love your hat. Thanks, Mom. Hey, Doc, what did you do with my mom's fat? Oh, it's right here in the storage closet. Uh, it's exactly what it looks like. It's like...